CodePen is an amazing resource if you want to get some funky animations or just something a little bit different applied to your website. CodePen is free, go away and use it. But trying to add it to your Elementor website is tr not as easy as it might sound, even though you think, oh, well, it's just code, I just drop it in. If it was all just HTML and CSS, it will be really, really easy. But when you have JavaScript, sometimes you can come unstuck when you have stuff like this extra JavaScript library over here or this external resource. So how do you get around that? Let me show you how you do it. What we have over here is a basic Elementor page. I'm going to go and pick up the HTML widget and I'm going to drop it in. Into there, the first thing I'm going to do is drop in the HTML that you have here. Oh, by the way, what we have here is an image with some falling particles. And the external resource is important for that bit. Let me just go and get the HTML. And this is what you would do to every code pen, right? You just pick it up as it is and drop it in. And as soon as you drop it in, you get this lovely picture of this tiny big tree or whatever it is, okay? I'm now gonna scroll all the way to the bottom of the code and make sure you get to the point where you see closing off the body. I am now gonna type in style, okay, like that, and you'll automatically get the close uh, syntax as well. Make sure you're in the middle of that, okay? Style and closing off the style. Now you get the CSS. If you add the CSS, Without putting in style, it ain't gonna work. Okay, so make sure you do that. Let's now drop that in. And as soon as I do that, I get the image. And you're probably at this point going, hey, this is amazing. By the way, don't worry about the fact I haven't messed around with the margin at the top, ignore that. But you're probably thinking, hey, brilliant, but we're not getting the moving particles. Again, make sure you're at the bottom of the code, okay? Right at the bottom, after the style has closed. We now put in a few more returns and now I'm gonna type in script. Make sure you get the close off syntax as well. And in between there, we're gonna drop in the JavaScript. Now here it is, we just copy that, copy it all and drop it in between script. Now at this point, we're getting the moving animation and you're gonna be thinking, hey, we're done, there's nothing more to do. But don't be fooled by that. Cause look, if I go over to this preview page, there are no particles. That's because it's working, but we do still need to load the external resource. So let me now go back over here, sorry, back to my code. What I'm gonna do is scroll down until I get to the point where we had the body. You know when the HTML was pasted, the closing syntax was slash body. Let me go all the way down. It was gonna be somewhere. The way to look for it is find the very first style because the body will be right above it. What you wanna do is now just hit return a few times like that. You then wanna add in the word script again and you'll get the closing syntax. Before the bracket, the greater than bracket for script, you now wanna type space SRC and put in an equals and then put two speech marks like that. Okay, so script SRC equals speech mark, speech mark before the, you know, the greater than symbol over there. Go back over to your code, go back to the JavaScript, hit the cog, then you wanna get that bit of code there or that URL, just copy it. You don't need to have to do anything fancy, just copy it. Now we go here and in between the speech marks, we stick that in, okay? Now we hit update, okay? And you're probably thinking, well, there's no difference. Yeah, I know, it won't look different here, but when you go over to your live page, which I've now already refreshed, the particles are now there. So don't just, when if you do happen to see it here, don't miss out the step that you might have an external resource. And sometimes you won't get the particles. So you still got to do this extra step here. But if you ensure that you paste your HTML as it is, your CSS must be between style, your JavaScript must be between script. And if you've got any external resources, go back to your HTML before the closing body, script, SRC equals speech mark, add the line, close the speech mark, close off the script, and you will now have your code Ben working for you inside Elemental Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.